you know, write your own instructions here if you want. Add to my Outlook calendar. It's going to pop up. Are you sure you wish to add this to your Outlook calendar? Click yes. It closes down the app. Writes to SharePoint. We have our tasks on the left side. We go to Outlook that it's written to my Outlook calendar. Hey everyone, my SharePoint questions here. Today I wanted to go over calendars and Power Apps. So I've seen a lot of people do calendars the same way in Power Apps, but today I wanted to show you, you know, a faster way to do calendars and Power Apps. We don't want to reinvent the wheel, right? We want rapid, low-code development. So today I'm going to show you a different way to do calendars uh, using SharePoint. So if you guys are liking my videos, please like, subscribe. I know that's repetitive, everyone says that, but please do it, it's helping me a lot. I wanna show you the calendar template that Microsoft uses. So if we come into Power Apps, when we do Create, there is a Book a Room uh, template here, and if we just kinda of take a look at it, we can see their calendar, right? Let's, let's take a look at how Microsoft recommends to do it. All right, so we have a book a meeting, uh, book a room, I guess, or a meeting calendar here. You know, you can book a room without a meeting and ask you what room, but if you come into the date here, you'll see that they have a calendar, right? They put a calendar right in their Power Apps. So if we take a look, right, and we click in here, and we take a look, there's actually two galleries that are doing this. So the first gallery is like the days. So if we look in here, the items are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, straight through the week. And I believe the way they're doing that is a, so there's a, a wrap count, right? So the, the wrap count one, if we look here on the days, there's actually a wrap count of seven. And you can see in the items, you know, they have one through 41. And if we were to click on one of the spaces, inside the item so if we click in here we can see there's a button and it's built on you know if date add first day in view they they make a variable and, and that's how they build this calendar in power apps well to me it's pretty complex right uh, you can recreate this in your own power app if you wanted but I want to show you an easier way and I don't know why anyone's not doing this yet so we have SharePoint right and in SharePoint, there's a new modern calendar. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'm gonna to go to site contents, and this is the way that I do it. You know, other people may do it a different way, but I go to site contents, list. I'm gonna do a blank list, uh, my calendar, and we're gonna show it in the navigation and create. Now in SharePoint, we wanna to go to list settings. We're gonna want two columns at least at least two columns right so we need start date and it's going to be a date and we'll give it a date and time and we're going to create that and then we need an end date and we need a date and time now when you come back to your list what you can do is you can change the view up here all items create new view and the view that we want is calendar. And I'm going to just name it calendar view. So the start date is going to be our start date field. End date is going to be our end date field. And we're going to make this public. All right. We now have a new SharePoint modern calendar. So now uh, let's say we want Power Apps to be incorporated into this. So we're going to integrate Power Apps customized forms. All right. So we have our very simple Power App. We have four fields right now. We're, I'm going to go ahead and remove attachments. I'm going to make the SharePoint form a little bit smaller. And so, you know, maybe this gives you some ideas. You could insert a, a, a text in here, maybe a label. And you, know, you can write your own instructions here. A, a lot of people, you know, sometimes they want a form and they want instructions for the user before they have their form. So, you know, I'll, I'll add some instructions in here maybe make it look a little bit different. All right, so we have our own instructions. We have title, start date, and end date. All right, so let's keep it very simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. Publish. Now we have our calendar view. And what we wanna do is we wanna make this calendar view, so I'm gonna go to list settings. 
we want to make this calendar view the default view. I, I should have already done this, but I'm just going to go ahead and make that the default view. All right. So now we have our calendar. We click new. We have our instructions up here. We can write. We have Power Apps incorporated with SharePoint already. Look at that. You know, I've seen people, they tried to recreate this task list view, you know, uh, you know, task two. They can, you know, you can just do this right here. Or how fast is that? You can't get any faster than that. I haven't seen anyone show, show that. Maybe it's too easy. But all right, let's add another step in here. So let's go to integrate Power Apps, customize form. Let's go back to the Power Apps form. I'm going to add a button that is going to add the your line item also to your calendar. So we're going to do a button here. This button is going to say add to my Outlook calendar. This doesn't have to just be add to your calendar. You could actually create a meeting. And, and maybe I'll do that in my next video. I'm going to show you how you create a meeting. You know, we'll add people in here and we're just going to add one button and we'll be able to create a meeting. So in our Power App, we're going to add a new data source. And this data source is going to be, it's a free data source. You know, we don't need a premium connector. It's going to be Office 365 Outlook. So we're going to go to our button. And in our button, we're going to connect to that data source. So that's Office 365 Outlook. Now we're going to use V2. V2 Calendar Post Item. And if we look at the IntelliSense here, it says, uh, now there's different versions, right? Maybe you, you'll want to use V3, V4, but I like version two. So we're just going to use V2 calendar post items. So the table, where did I learn how to do this? So I learned it from the, the book a room template here. If you go into book a room and you go to your app on start, there's some variables they create and, and this variable, you know, translates uh, different languages of the word calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and there's a second part set my calendar. And this uses it and looks up the office get calendar table. So we're going to grab that to set my calendar. So literally, I just grabbed this from the template that Microsoft provides us. And I'm going to use it in my app now. So we're going to go back to my app. All right, so we're back here. We're going to go to Let's do it. Let, let's create a button for it first. So we'll create a button for it. And we're going to create a collect, you know, um, we'll say it's called collect calendar. And we're going to post that, which I had in Notepad. I will put this in the description of the video. We're going to copy all of this. And we're going to put it in that button. So on our button, it's giving me a red squiggly, but I always put variable. So I'm going to put that there, variable my calendar. So we're going to set a variable and literally I'm getting this equation from that template. All right. So now we're going to go back to add to my Outlook calendar. The V2 post item is looking for a table. So that table is going to be variable my calendar. Now the subject, this is going to be the subject of your your task in Outlook. So this is going to be, if we go back to our SharePoint form, it's going to be data card value one dot text. Next is going to be the start that is actually going to be, uh, this is where it gets a little tricky, you got to make sure you grab this correctly. In the in the card here, you go to update and you can see there's a few things and we got to unlock the card. So let's unlock the card. There's a few things in here that grab the date. It's the date value 
one plus the time and so we can just copy that right out of the update of the card so we'll go back to our, our equation the start is going to be the date value here comma and so we'll do the end date now so the end date will grab the update and we're gonna unlock it we'll copy all of that in our equation all right so pasting the update now of the end comma now this is where we get into more details about our meeting so it also shows you, you know you can do time zone required attendees my next video I'm going to show you how to create this into a meeting but for this video I'm just going to use like three different fields so body um, we, we won't even do body how about that no body uh, what's most important is importance actually importance I believe if you don't do importance it changes it to low we want to make sure it's a normal importance and the other one is show as and that's going to be busy right we want to make sure that it's a normal meeting and it's busy so this is our equation right here to write to Outlook Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to collect. So that's collecting for our app. We can add event oh, event to my Outlook. And we have it on, you know, October 12th, October 12th. And I'm going to hit add to my Outlook calendar. And then we're going to go to my Outlook calendar now. We refresh my Outlook calendar add event October 12th to my Outlook calendar now I, I want to do a little bit more just to show you know make this perfect we're gonna take this collect and we're gonna move it into the app section on start looks like I've already done that so we're just gonna add it onto the on start also alright now I just added this button just for demonstration purposes I'm it's deleted now so that function is in our on start of our app all right, so let's do a little bit more. Instead of add to my Outlook calendar, we're going to create, I, I want a pop-up screen. I don't want, you know, someone to just click on there and, you know, and it adds to the calendar. You know, they might spam it. So let's do a little pop-up screen. We're going to do a, a rectangle. It's going to take up all the space. And we're going to change the color to that light blue. And we'll add a label. Are you sure you wish to add this to your Outlook calendar? And we'll center it. And we're going to create two buttons, right? Two buttons. One button yes, one button no. So I, I copied that formula. That was our button uh, that added it to the Outlook calendar. We want to do a, a few more things now. Now, uh, after, now after we add that to our Outlook calendar, what we want to do is we want to update context and we want to do a variable pop-up and this variable is going to do the, be the visibility of our pop-up screen and it's going to set it to false. And then there's one more thing we want to do. Now we want to submit form because we want to save the form when they click this. Uh, submit the form. This is SharePoint form one. That's just the name of my SharePoint form over here on the left side. And forgot my semicolons. There we go. And finally, what we want to do is we want to exit. So the reason we're doing exit is because this Power App is going to be on SharePoint. And so once someone clicks the yes button, it's going to hide the form. Um, so now let's do the visibility of our pop-up all right so that's three things that's our square four things our square our label and our two buttons the visibility of those is going to be our variable pop-up add to calendar is no longer going to do this it's going to be update context variable pop-up true all right, so now if we play, we can see, oh, we got we to do a little bit more. So our hover fill 
there's an easy way we can do this. Instead of knowing the color, all we have to do is say the hover fill is equal to self. It's just gonna say, hey, it's equal to whatever it was before. And now we're gonna publish and save and go to SharePoint. Save. Publish. All right, now that we're back to SharePoint, let's go ahead and do a date. We'll do, uh, we'll do Halloween, how about that? That's on the 31st of October. We can write Halloween. It's on October 31st. October 31st. You know, write your own instructions here if you want. Add to my Outlook calendar. It's gonna pop up. Are you sure you wish to add this to your Outlook calendar? Click yes. It closes down the app. Writes to SharePoint. We have our tasks on the left side. We go to Outlook. It's, I don't even need to refresh. You can already see here that it's written to my Outlook calendar. I know this, hopefully I made this simple. In SharePoint, we have our own calendar. We didn't recreate this. We're using the out of the box functionality of SharePoint. We now have our Power Up form on the right side, our title. I, uh, the next video, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a meeting. It'll, sh it'll be a short video, but it'll, it'll be awesome, right? I really think that these modern calendars in SharePoint are going to be the way to go instead of recreating the wheel in Power Apps. I, I haven't seen anyone do this yet. So thank you guys for watching. My next video, I'm going to show you how to turn it into a meeting with an attendees. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. See you next time.